I've always wanted to make a game for the Game Boy Color, so a couple of years ago I set out to learn how to do it. I learned that the original games are programmed in assembly, which is essentially the actual commands that a CPU reads. It's not difficult, and I'd want to learn assembly and try to make something with it someday, but I didn't really want to learn an entire new language. But then I discovered the Game Boy Development Kit, GBDK. GBDK uses the C programming language in a long list of commands to make the process a bit easier. Perfect because I was already familiar with C++ and C Sharp. You can use commands like set background tiles or joypad to display background tiles or check for button input. Simple. There are also some pretty good tools available for creating and converting graphics. And I learned to use Milky Tracker for making music along with another free library called GBT Player. Everything felt really exciting and I was ready to make a game, so I got to work. I came up with an idea about a teenage girl who has a talking diary. It's a little top-down adventure like Pokemon or Zelda, where Susie's little brother goes missing. After many months, this is what I came up with. Here's Susie in her bedroom. Some of the tiles aren't correctly flipped, so ignore those. You can move up, down, left, right, and that's about it. Collision detection, dialogue, changing scenes, something called memory banks. It all started to seem very daunting. This is about the time I discovered a library for GBDK called ZGB. It's an entire toolkit that includes scenes, collision detection, easy to use music and sound effect loading. It sounded like exactly the kind of help I needed. So I set off to create a quick side project to learn how to use ZGB and Two years later, I'm finally nearing the finish line of my little side project. Let's take a look at Nutmeg. I wanted to create a squirrel that stands upright when idle and walks on all fours when walking or running. Game Boys use 8x8 sprites, so I ended up having to use a total of 6 sprites. But ZGB works in a unique way. It utilizes the actual file of a program called Game Boy Tile Designer which supports sprite sizes of 8x8, 16x16, or 32x32. Nutmeg is wider than 16x16, so at first I tried to use 32x32 mode. This worked, but it took up a total of 16 sprites just for Nutmeg, and most of those were blank. Game Boy is limited to a total of 40 sprites on the screen at once, and only 10 sprites per row. So instead, I opted to split Nutmeg into two 16x16 16 16 halves for a total of 8 sprites. This added a bit of complexity to the code, but was easy enough to figure out. ZGB also supports animations, so I created a simple idle and walk cycle. I also made a jump and fall frame, as well as land and hurt, though in playtesting I decided to get rid of the land state. Nutmeg is a simple hop and bop platformer. The goal is to collect acorns for your babies because you're all out of food, but someone is out there stealing them all. It features an overworld where you can advance levels, a simple life system. For now, I am focused on creating what I call an MVP, or minimum viable product. That's the bare essentials of what the game needs to be a complete game. I have lots of ideas for power-ups and other features I would like to add, but when making a game, you have to find a balance somewhere between the MVP and feature creep. Nutmeg is coded in a series of game states. You can think of game states as a list of different modes your game can be in. Mode 1 could be level 1, for example. Or it could be when your player is idle, jumping, is hurt, etc. Those could all be different states. And each state can have its own set of rules its own background tiles and color palettes. I have a state set up for when Nutmeg is on the ground and when she's in the air. That makes it really easy to check for when you jump on an enemy or to prevent the player from double jumping. So it's going pretty well so far. Um, I still have a lot of various tasks to complete, more enemies, levels to create, a few more music tracks. But at this point, it finally feels like a real game. An end is in sight. Let me know what you think about Nutmeg in this type of video. 
I know it's a bit different than the type of content I typically create, but game development is probably going to eventually take center stage over Game Boy modding for me, so I hope you guys enjoy seeing what other things I'm working on. Uh, so I guess that's it for this one. I'll see you guys soon.